Good morning, everybody. I'm Diane Carr, and my first word was wow. My first question is the director. Director? Kudos. Congratulations to you. Now, as all of the cast and crew came out, I did not notice this being a busy set. In fact, one of the first notes I wrote were with beautiful stage pictures, and it seemed so unobtrusive. Does that make sense? I mean, and then as you're coming out, I was like, what? What? How did they? So, amazing. I, I love, I love you wisely chose, Gabriel, you're just right there. That's all you needed for a simple storytelling about love lost, love found, love growth. And I think you all did it well. So now, congratulations to you, and I want to go. I have three minutes left, I think. No, you have two minutes left. And two minutes left. Okay. Edward, but before Edward, I'd like the musicians. So that's your percussion, your guitars to stand up. space, but complimented the story. So beautiful, and the percussion, particularly painful at the death, but that's not it. It's just, it, but, it, but it worked. Edward Stanley. difficult and beautiful, and you, you grew. You are t as tall as I thought you were. <laughs> I just have a couple quick questions. When did you first cast the show? How long ago? September. So this has been your life. And what's next after this? Oh. Wow. I may find myself traveling. Thank you so much. So first of all, how many rabbits were there? You guys were so incredible with changing out. Yeah, see, you were so incredible with changing out the rabbit, the bunny, and his dress. And of course, I'm a costume designer first, and an administrator and a director last. And I was watching all of that stuff. And I said, man, that rabbit went through some changes. <laughs> At a time in our country where um, people are getting killed every day, and life seems bleak for some of us, this piece was so great because there was humility, there was faith, hope and honesty, and it led to one word, love. Guys, thank you for making us, this audience, it's too bad that there wasn't a lot of people, enough more people, there's a lot of people here, but people in the country right now who are hurting for different reasons, and man, if they had seen this piece, it would have you know, really made them feel much better. So thank you, thank you, director, for finding a piece like this that makes the audience feel good, yes? Um, and when you tell a story and you tell a good story, and the way you guys told this story from the smallest person to the largest person, you know, oh my goodness. I mean, it was so nice. I was like, who was the dog? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Uh, Miss Abilene, Miss 
I believe was the first, let me tell you something, to start the show. And I first looked, I said, now, is she, is, wait, she looks really young. Okay, so to start the show and then end the show, that must be great to be able to start the show and then end the show in the way you did. But it was so wonderful. It was, it was great. Um, I really, the design elements were fantastical because they moved us along. And of course, I always love music. Music is always a great transition. Thank you, guitarist, and thank you for your, your lovely work. Um, Costumes were very detailed um, and were the period. And I think that was, you know, that first of all, that got us into the period. And I also like the sign, the middle sign, um, you know, with the title, because it looked uh, aged as well. So all the details and things that you guys put into this piece. Um, great supporting cast. Um, you guys did a really great job, and I think my time is about to end, but I want to say um, my favorite, some favorite lines. How dare you do this, how dare you do this to this dress? This dress was perfect. You know, because Eric's like, first of all, you know, you take me to a woman, then I get changed to a sailor suit, then I put on this, what was that bandana get up? That was, I mean, and just, and then the scarecrow was the one that I thought was the most famous. I'm like, a scarecrow? Oh my God. But thank you guys for a lovely piece of work. as well of like the shock in your face really helped me that was great storytelling i appreciate it those small moments you disappoint me i felt it i felt the disappointment that those can make really because you had the big moments of course the small details i appreciate it so much um level changes the dog yes <laughs> yeah. Um, the sound effects got me. They did. Um, the stars, the shadow puppets. Uh, like there's so I, I don't know. There were so many things that captivated me. And like, you're telling story on so many different levels that also connect back to the period. The shadow puppets. It's just perfect. The sepia tone making me feel like I'm back. It's a, it's Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, I said I kept saying simple but effective. I wrote that so many times, yeah. and that was impressive because that's not always easy. And so, thank you. Very clear and articulate too. I always under I felt like I always understood you all. I could always hear you all, but sometimes that's not the case. So, thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So if we stay on time, we have enough time, well, for the guys to go to the bathroom. Um, we get about five minutes before the next show. So take a breath. Y'all, get out of here. <laughs>